those movement uh, like a buto kind of like Aikido. Huh? Aikido. Yeah, Aikido and also uh, movement exercise. Uh, move, feel the gravity of the body. Even this this part has a weight. So how to feel that, that one? So it helped me to deepen the posture. We are not. Uh, practicing that to feel good, but actually uh, we need some positive feedback to, to uh, become fond of uh, sitting. <laughs> Otherwise, we need some extra pressure <laughs> to, to bring our body to a to question. So somehow I recommend you to uh, make your body more supple, supple and flexible, like applying yoga or stretching some kind of thing. You don't have to uh, train the muscle, you know, maybe opposite. Rather, be, make your body more sensitive and flexible. Okay. Mm. Yeah, definitely the, the practice makes perfect. So, <laughs> but don't force yourself, you know, many, I, I see many Japanese macho type uh, Zen practitioner <laughs> damage the knees and then mm operation kind of thing. So, so it's flexibility maybe? If you yeah, mind it. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. For example, ex stretching, most of us stretch like in a macho, very macho way. No. <laughs> I can't say it, right? But this is just training the muscle how to register this, this uh, stretching <laughs> exercise, right? So rather, uh, for example, I can open this, my leg is so much in this. <laughs> like this. So, same uh, attitude toward the sitting and recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, relax and ask the body how much I can go further without stretching. And also, uh, we have to change the uh, frame of mind. Usually, we set up the goal, I, ha I have to go there, and then go and try to go there. <laughs> but no, no goal yet. So ask, but no goal, but there's direction. I'm moving toward this direction. Okay. So main, first check out you know, how much uh, relaxation I have now. So relax as much as possible. And with this quality, Keep asking the body how far I can go. Okay. Still I can go. Somehow I start feeling the resistance or tension. Okay. So here I my tentative you know limit here. So here it's not the end of the story. It's the beginning of exploration uh, inquiry. The, how much uh, option I I have with this, at this limit, okay? So I can go this way. I can go this way, right? Even I cannot go this way, but I can go this way. Right, I can twist my, you know, <coughs> body. Or I can shake, right? Or here, I try to explore, you know, if I can relax more, okay? So if I can relax here after th those kind of playing out the options, muscle re uh, relax more, a little bit more, and then I can go even just a little bit, and then do the same thing. And then one by one, uh, little by little, I can get closer to this. But I don't know yet, you know, here, I don't know how, how far I can go. But as a result of those ne negotiations, <laughs> I, I can go far. And then after uh, one hour, without tensing up, I can maybe touch the floor. But I don't know yet. Something like that. So do several uh, exercises, you know, uh, forward or twisting kind of thing, the same principle. Every day, <laughs> I think uh, much faster you can have the flexible body.
I think the basic are yoga is something very systematic. <laughs> Any other questions? All right. Then we can go to the this handle after a bite. <laughs> the moment we want happiness, we start to cling to it in our mind. First we cling to our own ideas of happiness. We relate to the outside world as a source of satisfaction and look outward for the things we normally associate with happiness, accumulating wealth, success, fame, or power. As soon as we become attached to any idea, happiness, success, or whatever, there is some stress. Clinging to itself is a stress well, clinging is itself a stressful state. And everything that derives from it is also stressful. For example, try to clench your hand and make a fist. As soon as you start to clench your hand, you have to use energy to keep your fingers clenched tightly. When you let go of the clenching, your hand is free again. So it is with your mind. When it is in such a state of clenching, it can never be free. It can never experience peace or happiness even if one has all the wealth, fame, and power in the world. Yeah, this is the one quotation from the uh, hinting, living meditation, living insight. So, you don't, ha you don't have to agree with this, but uh, we can use this as a seed for discussion. You can, I'm curious about your comment or thought about this, this phrase. What I found very interesting is that the whole image of the clenching fist. Mm. I'm thinking back to the Tao Te Ching, uh -huh. where I forget which chapter it is, but uh, Lao Tzu says that a baby can hold a fist forever, mm. a baby can cry forever, mm. have energy like a baby. Mm. So it, it, in comparison, he's saying don't hold a fist, hold this requires energy. And uh, at least the Tao Te Ching says have energy like a child who would hold a fist or cry forever. Yeah, the, that image of you know tight, tighten up the fist in the is a positive example in the Tao Te Ching. It, uh, as, oh, yeah. as far as I understand, it's saying mm -hmm. that a, a baby is one of the strongest things in the world because it doesn't try to hold on; it just holds on. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't try to cry. It's it's, it, it's the baby's nature to cry. Just. Mm. I don't know what co what kind of context you know that image is <laughs> used. Of course. Well, because Tao Te Ching is like a flow kind of, you know, <laughs> let go, flow kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, I don't remember. I read it, read it but I don't remember. Mm. But I think the, 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 the ideal image in, the, in Buddhism is this release, you know, release or uh, mm, let go. And opposite to clinging, you know, clenching kind of thing. Do you agree with this comment, statement? Well, I can, I can use this image to, to refer to Zazen, I think. As I said, you know, the Zazen's uh, important element is let go and uh, release of clinging. Not just think about clinging, uh, not think about releasing the clinging, but try, we, we are going to do it. You know, the, uh, we, we want to taste the, the experience of uh, letting, go, letting go of clinging. No. It's like, uh, you know, uh, some of you feel uh, the uncomfortable sensation, and then even though you didn't try to have this idea or thought, that your, not, your mind naturally uh, produced the, uh, the thought in how many more minutes. <laughs> and then in case your pain is, uh, you know, very painful, uh, this urge you know, to think how many more minutes or how many more seconds